There's no denying super PACs power in elections. Now a presidential candidate is trying to level the playing field by changing the way you donate to candidates. Jennifer Bellamy is here to explain. And Jennifer, one U.S. city already has a similar version of this type of program. That's right, Cheryl. This type of policy already in practice out in Seattle. And Democratic presidential candidate Senator Kirsten Gillibrand believes a federal version could help clean up political finances. Democracy dollars, money given to every voter to support candidates in federal elections. It's an idea from New York Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, a Democrat and presidential candidate, to remove money's influence in political races, saying to get anything done in Washington, you have to take greed and corruption out. Under the plan, eligible voters could register for vouchers to donate $100 in a primary and another $100 during a general election each cycle. They'd receive $200 each for the House, Senate and presidential races, totaling up to $600. You could donate all the money at once or in $10 increments to more than one candidate. But there are some catches. You can only donate in your state, but you can't give outside of your district. Politicians have to opt in and give up the chance for campaign contributions over $200. That's a pretty big drop from the current max of $2,800 each for the primary and general elections. Right now, the Center for Responsive Politics says only about half a percent of Americans donate more than $200 to a campaign each cycle. And 2016 research shows those voters are disproportionately white, wealthy, and male. Gillibrand's campaign says it would pay for the plan by limiting a corporate tax deduction, which could raise $60 billion over 10 years. The voucher program is modeled after one currently in play in Seattle, Washington. Voters approved the $25 plan that started in 2017. It's received mixed results, the number of small donors jumping from 8,200 in 2015 to 25,000 in 2017. They've seen younger and more diverse contributors, but participation has been low, with only 3.3 percent of eligible voters actually taking part, even with vouchers mailed to their homes. And there's also an ethics reform bill supported by Democrats in Congress that includes a plan similar to Gillibrand's, but on a smaller scale. It would test the idea in a few locations with $25 vouchers, but many expect any changes toward public campaign finances would face a tough battle. All right. Jennifer, thank you. And it is worth noting that she's trailing other presidential candidates. When it comes to total contributions raised as of March, the latest reports show she's raised just under $3 million compared to President Trump's $35 million. On the Democrat side, Senator Bernie Sanders has raised $18 million. Senator Kamala Harris, uh, Kamala Harris $12 million. Mayor Pete, $7 million.